In this video, we're taking a look at the basics of motion graphics in Fusion. Right, to get started, the first and most important thing, open Resolve. In Resolve, create a new project. Go to Project Settings and choose your desired quality and frame rate. I'm going with 25 frames a second at Full HD Progressive Scan. Now go to the Timeline tab and choose New Timeline. Create the timeline as you desire. Now open the Timeline and the Effects Library. Go to Toolbox, Effects and drag the Fusion Composition onto your timeline. Now we can get started with Fusion. With the cursor over your Fusion Composition, open the Fusion tab in the bottom of your screen. In this view, there are four main things to worry about. First, the Notes window. This is where all your inputs are created. This is equivalent to the layers in After Effects or Premiere. To get started, make a new node by pressing Shift and Space on your keyboard. I'm making a text node. Press F2 to rename the node. This comes in handy when working in big project files. The second window to worry about is the inspector. Here you can change the values of each node. For example, we can change the text. But the question then stands, where do we see the text? The third window to worry about is the preview. Choose your node and press 1 on your keyboard to preview it in the respective preview 1. Press 1 again to turn it off. Press 2 to preview it in window 2 or click the buttons under the node with your mouse. The last thing has to do with animation. I'm going to animate the text size. Choose your endpoint and create a keyframe. Go to your out point and resize the text. Now we have an animation. But this animation is rather linear. If you open the Spline tab, this is the fourth and last window to worry about. Here you can zoom in and out by holding Ctrl and using the scroll wheel on your mouse. In Spline view, you can change the velocity and value of each keyframe. Let's make the animation smoother by slowing it down in the start of the animation and slowing it down in the end of the animation. There we go. Now if we parent that note to the MIDI out, we have our animation in our timeline. But let's give it a color background to make it more exciting. Go back to the Fusion tab and press Shift Space to make a new node. Choose Background. To display the text on top of the background, make a Merge node and use the background and text node as inputs for the merge. Parent the Merge node to the output. The colors of the Merge node represent layers, so the arrangement of the inputs changes the output. And there we go, we have an animation. And that wraps it up, that has been all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more graphics machinery. See you soon.